Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How's everybody doing? I have missed you all very, very much. So I am using another molded stone from the Happy Dotting Company um, just because a little bit low on perfection right now uh, and not going out anytime soon. So I've painted it black. Luckily, there is a spot in the center where you can see um, what the center of the stone is and you can work with it like me. I'm using a compass and a pencil and I'm gonna draw on a frame uh, like I do with a lot of my stones but of course it's not uh, focusing on the correct area at times because I don't have my light set up properly and I'm sorry. <laughs> Sometimes it's a struggle for me too. <laughs> There, I moved my light out of the way, I moved a little bit closer, and it slides around a little bit better now that I have it sitting on a little piece of plastic, because that's what my problem was. It was actually like not wanting to budge while I was trying to draw circles on it. So I drew one circle bigger than the other, and I'm now outlining it in gold so that we can see it, but we won't, we won't uh, do anything with this part. Um, we're going to let it dry and we're going to work on it a little bit later. Once I have my circles, my smaller circle and my larger circle, and if you have been around for any length of time, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. And you have seen me do this before. So uh, this is probably boring for you. So I don't want to spend too much time on it. If you are confused by the frame, I will complete it afterwards and I will explain everything. So you could see right through my first coat of black paint, so I wanted to make sure I gave it another quick coat of black paint so you couldn't see through it anymore. So if it looks like it's a little bit wet, it is. And I'm going to start with jungle green and I'm going to use one of my larger dotting tools and I'm dotting just the center uh, with a big dot just so that we know where our center is. It's covered up but it's a big dot now <laughs> and it might not even be centered properly now but we'll see how it goes as we go <laughs> so this is a um, Martha Stewart color it's jungle green I love this color I'm gonna try and use a lot of like bright spring colors in this because I know uh, how color makes me feel and maybe you guys could just use a little bit of color in your life so uh, I hope you guys like this one so I did a big dot of jungle green in the center and then uh, I did dots, one at the top, one at the bottom, one at the left, one at the right, and then one in between those ones so that we have an even number of dots to start off with. And then I'm going in the center of those little dots with a toothpick so it's that small uh, with some gold because of course we are going to incorporate more gold throughout. You guys know, you guys know. So back to the jungle green again. In between where the gold one, the gold ones are, I'm doing a bigger jungle green dot. And then you're gonna see some more gold. Each layer is gonna have a color and then gold. So I'm gonna do two dots between these ones. Maybe you guys can slow it down um, so that you can see this a little bit better. I hope I haven't sped it up too much so that it's too confusing for you. So I'm going to be adding a little bit bigger of a jungle green dot right in front of those gold ones just like we did last time. And you can see I'm just gradually using different dotting tools to get different sizes of dots and we're just going to keep getting bigger and bigger as we go along and switching the colors. So now we have our third row of jungle green. This is going to look so beautiful guys. This time I'm adding gold dots all the way around those biggest jungle green dots that we've created there. And I'm using a toothpick so the dots of gold are nice and small. We don't want our, our gold to outshine all the color. We want it to just accentuate it, make it look a little more fancy schmancy. <laughs> so I will be bringing in some uh, light green, a nice bright lime green. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to incorporate dots in between all these jungle green dots. 
and I'm using another different size. You can see all the dots are different sizes. And I'm just kind of trying to make my green dots all the same size, um, but I'm not trying to be a perfectionist about it. Now we are bringing in a second row of green dots, and they're going to be much bigger than these ones. So you'll also see that some of them are kind of oddly shaped, and that's because I am not worrying about whether or not they're perfect. <laughs> that's the last thing you want to do. You want to have fun with this. You don't want to stress about it. So we want to make this the least stressful time in your day. I will be uh, going around all of these dots as well with gold. I don't want to bore you guys, like I said. So um, I want to check on you, see how you guys are doing, see if you're uh, coping well. It's okay to not be okay right now, but I want to make sure that if there's anything I can do to help, I will. If you want a special tutorial, please let me know. I'm still jotting down all your ideas onto a big list and trying to get to each each one uh, when I can. So um, it's fun. I'm having a lot of fun with you guys, even though it's a little different right now. There's a little more tension behind it all. Um, use this as your, your moment to get away. Use this as your moment of therapy. Art therapy is amazing. I don't know what I'd do without it. I said to my husband, I'm like, it's great that you guys are home and I get to spend so much time with you. Um, but I still need to paint. That's, that's how I escape. That's how I get away from it all. So I'm not much of a drinker. I don't drink wine or anything like that. I, I do like to have some Baileys in my coffee once in a while. Um, but, but I'm not much of a drinker. I wish I could. <laughs> I wish I could spend more time drinking. Um, it's just never been something that I got into, I guess. Um, but it's fun. <laughs> I'm adding some beautiful bright yellow. We've got some beautiful spring summery colors right now, so I'm excited about this. It's gonna look so pretty. Um, so yeah, uh, we're doing really good here, planting some seeds for our garden. We are uh, building volcanoes. We have, um, our six-year-old now has an obsession with whales, so. <laughs> we might be painting whales together soon. We don't know. He actually has been speaking to me in whale and then I have to ask him to translate for me because unfortunately I am not bilingual. <laughs> but it's been interesting. It's been interesting to say the least. So I hope you guys are all doing well and thank you all for for coming and, and sitting with me and uh, letting me entertain you for 23 or so minutes. Um, so I just want to tell you I love you. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for painting with me. And um, I love you. Yeah. There you go. I love you. <laughs> okay. Back to this. I do have a couple of bits of gold that I had to cover up with black paint. So if you see shininess on the black area that's because I had to cover up some gold that I splashed on there and I've got all my yellow dots surrounded with gold I only did one row of yellow so now I'm moving on to orange and these orange dots are even bigger and some of them are misshapen but so am I so that's okay <laughs> I like being misshapen <laughs> so I have one set of orange, I'm one, one row of orange in this one as well, and I'm going to be using some candy apple. I love this color. It's kind of a pinkish red. It's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to be doing three, three candy apple dots. It's not quite deep red or anything like that. It just goes really nicely in with these beautiful spring summery colors. So uh, you know how they make me feel. Uh, they make me feel so happy. So yes, look at this. You don't have you don't have to use 
uh, just one dot. If you want to do three, you can. If you want to do two, you can. It's completely up to you. It changes the look of everything. So now, of course, I got to dot around with some gold. I'm using a dotting tool now. Now, because these dots are much bigger, so I don't need to use a toothpick. I can work with a, a smaller dotting tool. I'm also going to be dotting around the little pinkish red ones. You'll see that shortly. So I am going to attempt to put a link on here so that you can click on that link and go straight to Happy Dotting Company, but if it doesn't work, I'm sorry. <laughs> I swear to God, I am taking YouTube University right now so that I can learn more about um, how to make your lives easier when you watch my videos. So I'm still working on stuff. Bear with me. Um, I hope that I'm still able to help you even if the links don't work. Just check the description of my video. Uh, everything is located there as well, but I'm hoping the links work because they are a pain in the butt. So we have some dudgel, uh, dudgel, dudgel. We have some double digit weather coming soon and I'm excited to uh, spend some more time outside with the boys. Cleaning up the yard a bit, getting ready to plant flowers and stuff. And my son's going to have his own little garden. If we're going to homeschool, I'm going to teach him the necessities like planting vegetables and, uh, well, of course, learning how to speak whale. <laughs> of course, you guys know. It's very important. <laughs> so now that I'm sick of dots, I decided to get my fine lining brush out and uh, just put some nice little pointy petals around these uh, candy apple dots here. And I'm using my fine lining brush, which is always in the description of my tutorials as well. If you cannot find the description, just look up fine lining brush on my channel and you can watch that tutorial as well. So now I'm doing a little pointy petal off of these orange ones. And there's a method to this, I promise. <laughs> it makes this part easier. So at the point of everything, we're going to put a little line touching our first, uh, first frame circle of gold there. And then you go to the pointy petal and do a heart. Pointy petal, do a heart. And some of my hearts are not the exact same size because this is lopsided a little bit. My center dot was off-centered. <laughs> That's okay. It's still going to look really, really pretty. You guys know. You guys know it's always going to look really pretty when it's done anyway. So you can see it a little better now that I've moved it into your view. I'm going to be filling these hearts in with red. And you can see here, this kind of looks like another heart, but it's like a pointy heart. Basically, I'm just coming down into a point right where those orange dots are. I'll be able to show you a little bit better in a second. Once it's filled in with color, you can see what I've done a little bit better as well. But I will be doing two coats of this engine red in each of the hearts. Um, and while well, the the round heart shaped shapes <laughs> the pointy hearts are going to be purple so I'm going to fill in the red first and then we'll work on the purple afterwards then and in the rest of it it's just going to be dotted in blue but you'll see you'll see I'm getting ahead of myself like I always do I get so excited about what the next steps are that I go way ahead and I really shouldn't <laughs> if you want to do like a lighter pink heart or if you want to do purple hearts, or uh, if you just don't like putting a heart there at all, you don't have to. Uh, it's just one way to incorporate like a, a shape that you like into a mandala. And I like hearts. And who doesn't need a little bit of love right now? So why not? Why not put some hearts out for people? Lots of them. I don't have a problem with that. So I'm using Perfect Purple for these like pointy hearts 
in between the red hearts. I am not good with words, guys. Please forgive me. I know what I want to say before I open my mouth, but it just doesn't come out that way. <laughs> I don't know if it's because I know I'm recording myself and it's a little more nerve-wracking. But yeah, I am not good with it. Ooh, this is looking so pretty. Look at these colors. If you just sit back a little bit and take a look, it's like glowing from the center. I just love it so much. You could always use glow-in-the-dark paints for something like this too, and it'd be pretty freaky when it's... uh when the lights are out. <laughs> so I have two coats uh, drying of the red and the purple. I've made sure to fill it in, make sure there's no spots missing. Can't see any black through there. I'm using a cerulean blue for the rest and a dotting tool. And I'm just filling in all around these hearts up until the framework. So anywhere you can see a black space between the purple and red hearts, um, that's all going to be cerulean blue. Now, uh, you might have seen my, oh my dear, you may have seen um, me use a sparkling red nail polish in my Betty Boop Rock tutorial. I think I've used it in other ones as well, possibly on a gnome tutorial, I'm not really sure. Uh, but yeah, there's a red sparkling nail polish and it's a gel polish where you use an LED lamp or a UV lamp in order to uh, dry the polish and so I'm going to be putting that on my hearts on the red ones today and I'll show you how I do it and I'll list everything in the description. I get mine from Amazon. It lasts me a really long time. I'm a, a nail polish addict to begin with and so I just kind of have all of this stuff on hand. Don't go out and buy it. You don't need to have it. You can just put glitter paint on the hearts and it will look just as beautiful. Um, but I just use a lot of funky stuff on my rocks and uh, I did say funky, F-U-N-K-Y, YouTube. Please do not get upset by that word <laughs> on my channel. Um, but yeah, you don't have to use the LED nail polish by by all means. Use whatever you want. You can even use like a clear glue, cover the heart with clear glue, and then sprinkle red glitter onto it, let it dry, brush all the excess glitter off, and then seal it uh, later on. But I just find this nail polish uh, when I dry it with an LED light, it dries nice and 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 clean and it's not bumpy. And then when I resin it, um, it just looks fantastic. So you guys will see uh, how it looks on my end and you decide what you want to do on your end. But I have put two coats of the red on here first, just so the nail polish doesn't show through. Um, and it's not very expensive, the stuff. Um, I buy like sets and it it lasts me a long time so it looks like ruby slippers if you've ever watched the Wizard of Oz it really resembles Dorothy's uh, Dorothy's ruby slippers and I think that's probably why I love it so much so I'm just using a dotting tool to kind of maneuver around the nail polish and cover up the entire heart and then once they're all covered up I'm gonna put them under a UV light um, I just, I just hold it there for a couple minutes because it's not hurting my rock to do that uh, and I want to make sure it's completely dry before I seal it so uh, yeah I probably hold the light on longer than what I need to just to make sure it's it's all good and once again you can use like a um, folk art has some really pretty glitter paints that have really fine red sparkles in it um, it will give you the same effect almost, uh, so you don't have to go out and do this. I promise you, uh, get creative with whatever you have at home. You can even use regular nail polish that might be red, red and sparkly. Just make sure it's dry really, really, really well before you try to seal it with anything. Um, but yeah, it'll give you the same effect. Now this little UV light is super old, super old, covered in paint. I only use it for my rocks. Um, so yeah, I'm letting this ruby slipper nail polish dry for a bit and now I'm just outlining my framework again 
making sure that it doesn't look sloppy. And we're going to add uh, some dragonfly glaze in there as soon as I have this dried properly. So I'm just making sure you can see both of my gold lines around everything for my frame. And whoops, there was a hair on there. And now I'm putting Dragonfly Glaze 44380. It is beautiful. It's a very, very fine holographic rainbowy glitter and it looks fantastic on anything with color. <laughs> so you can use it on pretty much every rock that you paint or any surface that you paint. If you like glitter, you will like Dragonfly Glaze. So uh, it looks a little bit different when it's wet. When it's dry and sealed, it's gorgeous. So you'll see that uh, at the end as well. I promise I, I won't forget the resin part. So I'm just making sure that it's completely covered evenly. Uh, and then I'm going to be doing some little notches with gold on my framework, which is common. You've seen it before if you've been around any length of time on my channel. Uh, it's just my thing. It's just something that I love to do and I don't get sick of it, um, but you're allowed to get sick of it. Uh, it's totally up to you what you do here. So I am just going to continue down from each of my hearts uh, right down through the frame. Everything's going to be fairly even apart because I am using the hearts as a guide on where I want my notches to be on the frame. And I'm just making sure that everything's outlined as well. I've, I've noticed some areas on the hearts that aren't, uh, that the, some of the gold is missing. Some of the red nail polish swallowed up the gold. So I've, I've made sure to outline all my hearts properly again, make sure we can see them. And there's a notch coming down from each one of the hearts. So each point of the hearts, the red and purple, there's a notch. And then I'm doing two notches in between. So in between each heart, each heart notch is two notches. <laughs> and it's just to make sure that everything is equally spread apart. And it, it just makes your life easier if you're trying to do this kind of dial effect that I do all the time. Any way that I can show you guys an easier way is always fun. If I can help you, it, it makes me happy. Makes my heart smile. So here we have all of our beautiful notches. And that's it. That's all I'm going to do. This looks like a gorgeous, like, I don't even know, little treasure box. Like it makes you want to open it up and, and see what's inside. And now I've resined it. Now I jumped right into that and probably shocked all of you. Grab your hearts, people. This is gorgeous. I love the colors. I love the feeling I get when I look at it. It's absolutely gorgeous. I hope you guys love it. Keep painting. Comment. Let me know what you think. Love you guys. See you soon.